Volcanoes? That shit is too hard to track. Give me something easy, like carbon. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the month where I start to act really weird. So you've been warned. Also, we have fantastic new ice crystal formations. And it's like these sun dogs have a mind of their own where they're evolving over time, which is something civilization used to do, but then it stopped and it started going retrograde. Anytime we get one like this, we always take the weird weather watch up a notch. So you might be saying, what is the sun doing? And let me tell you, it is doing strange things, my friend. We have a corona hole, which is rotating around right about now. And what is so magically special about this corona hole is that this will be the sixth time that it's come around that this same coronal hole with a chevron shape I read that somewhere else. I don't even know what the chevron shape is. But we'll be facing us. It looks like a bow shock to me. And so the coronal hole is an opening in the sun that will spew out fast moving solar wind, which will then hit Earth's magnetic shield and light it up with charged particles and get the atmosphere all frizzy haired. And so someone should do a really cool sciencey thing that shows us because that storm will hit on around December 1st. That shows us the storms that followed about three days after we got hit by the solar storm. And one of the thorn news things we look at is whenever we are facing a giant coronal hole, sometimes the earthquake activity goes up. More often than not, really. And that's usually when we're directly facing or when the solar wind hits. So take your earthquake and volcano watch up a notch. And we're still monitoring the planets because if this were a slice of the pie, only these slices are left. I didn't explain that very well. Anyway, but just think about it. Like, think of all these planets being in this one area. No matter what, that is cool. I know planets aren't as cool to people as they used to be back in the day before radios, televisions, and smartphones. But they're still really cool, man. And check out Sirius lately. Sirius is not a planet. He's a star right by Orion. He's been shining like a double star lately. Maybe even triple. Anyway, to have all these planetary bodies in the same space, that's very fascinating. And so, now we're about to get into the wild and weird wacky weather. Because, yeah, it's going to get wild, weird, and wacky. And, California, you are on high red alert for mudslides and rain events. And I hear the UK is about to get really rainy as well. And I want to point this out right here. The models, which have been really shaky lately... They have what would be Category 1 or Category 2 hurricane strength. I'm not saying it's a hurricane. I'm just saying that some of the winds of the wind gusts could have somewhere near hurricane speeds. All right? And it, I'm just going by what the models say. Oh, I meant to show you guys something. I didn't pull it up yet. Okay, here we go. And I'm still kind of rusty. I feel like every time I get back on my feet, something knocks me back off. And I get all discombobulated again. It's hard to talk to people about serious stuff with the right disposition. Did I use those words correctly or do I end up looking like a dumbass? Dang it. Okay. We are talking about on this Thursday storm is the first we'll cover. But like here, let's look at this. Like this is... 65 miles an hour, 70, 63. So, but if you look at it, a lot of windy areas 
across the globe in big blobs. Isn't that crazy? That's some of the windiest I've seen the atmosphere ever. So I'm just pointing that out to you that this is some of the windiest I've seen the upper atmosphere collectively or in giant pod creature things that we're seeing. Anyway, so this is the GFS run. Wait, I need to point out the serious shit first. Dang it. Where was I at? Regions. Did I mention that was rusty? Okay. So one thing I wanted to show was the total accumulated precipitation in silver a 16 day span. Now the models have backed off it a little, but I think it was Monday night's 18Z was the one that worst, like this has been the worst run so far. And if it came anything like this run, this would be giant swaths of anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of rain and giant portions of the west coast and so if anything close to that happens that is going to cause major problems for the west coast after their terrible fire the deadliest fire in california history the mudslides would and landslides would just be gruesome and so we will have to watch out for that. And like I'm saying, Thursday Storm has category one strength wind or wind gust potential until further notice. But one thing I would like to explain. Dang, I just hit the wrong button. When I say hit the button, baby, I usually mean hit the right button. Okay. One thing I would like to explain, if I can, if you are still with me. pattern used to go like to here to here and then it would kick straight up and it would come down through here and then you get your jet dip down and then it would bust out through here right and then sometimes during the summer you get the moisture added in from here and then the hurricane the most active Pacific hurricane season in, of all time would sometimes add moisture in through here. And so that was the normal pattern we've been dealing with. But now, the new variable, as you can see, instead of going up, it's just coming through. And so then it comes in, comes down, and then up and out. So that is like our new, that is like a brand new pattern. And it looks to be consistent, which could spell major rains, California, and the total of the West Coast. The Washington used to bear the brunt of the worst rains. And so that is definitely something we are going to be watching. And so this will be the portion of the show where I say, smoke them if you got them. And I put together a little correlation thing where if you'll notice the V-shape we are seeing in some of these rain bands is um, almost on par with the coronal hole. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get stormy. Some of the models have spit out some pretty nasty rain events over Texas. That one, you went by too fast. Definitely going to be watching Thursday Storm on the West Coast. But there would be a big 
nasty chunky storm on the second. See, here's the V. You can almost match that up right there. Bingo. Bingo. See it? Bingo. Bingo. Did I do that pretty well? I think it did. Yeah. Sweet. I deserve a kiss for that. For doing such awesome science. Oh, you can still factor in your carbon if you want to. I'm not trying to be a party pooper, man. And when I said man, I, I said it to a lady. Sometimes I think it's cute to call a woman dude. If you can get, out, get away with it. But not in like, whatever. Okay. I'm rusty. I'm going to try and shake the rust out, though. I promise. Oh, yeah. We're going to watch for our buddies over in the pond. Yeah. So, you got... So, they're circling up. I don't know. I'm just... We'll watch this one more time. And it's Bombo Genesis, Bombo Genesis thing out here. And one of them, it comes back to... Watch. It'll come back. It'll hit it. And then it'll twirl back out and go back out. That is crazy. Doesn't usually do that. But you'll notice it's almost carving up the coasts with low pressure. I mean, that whole turn back flip and then go back out is new. And then I think it gets to 966 low or 956. Which is pretty nasty. So there are some wild processes going on here. And they look like they've done these processes a thousand times before, which is another reason I keep going back to the planetary alignments. Because as far as I know, the planets have always been here. They've at least always been here my whole life. I can verify that. All right, now let's check out the big pond. Yeah, but no, seriously, UK, you guys are just getting wave after wave after wave after wave. Another thing to notice as the rain man of rain bands, the rain bands are all staying mildly interconnected with each other or at least trying to in new ways that aren't normal. Although, what is normal in 2018? Other than me not getting kisses. See, there's a rain band string right there. Oh, I've mentioned kisses twice. Must be getting close to Christmas. The holidays are so romantic. Oh, see, there was... See, look how those are... I don't even know. This is 2018. It's a wild time. And so that one storm we're watching carries a whole lot of rain with it. So it looks like a rainy, stormy pattern right there. Towards the end, you know, it's going to get stormy. So the storm, the new stormy, stormy period. And then we can see that thing do a loop and it's like a giant rain monster. So it's like a weird, creepy fit clown smiley face. Yeah, I don't like it at all. All right. Let's see how far we into the newest one. Do, 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 do. How are you doing? What are you wearing? You never answer that question. Great. When I run for president, you're going to like cut together all the times that I said, what are you wearing? <sighs> okay, so this is the latest, latest model run. And so there's... Yeah. Wait. No, no I'm tapping the wrong shit. You don't want to do that. Trust me.
and they seem to fill in the storms more accurately as the storms get closer to us. But see, there's that I mean, let's see, look at this day. The 11th has almost the entire west coast underwater, pushing as far in to the Dakotas. And then you have that nasty storm. Like, this is right after. So it'd be like December 6th. And be like, boom. And then that is gone. And then that low just forms out of nowhere see that boom and it grows into a much bigger storm and then it goes out to sea and then Kelly's about to get nailed again but i mean do we want to count how many times Kelly gets nailed so we're at one which is starting now and then there's two and you get a few day break one day break and there's three Four, five, five to six storms in the next 16 days for California, and then those storms will move through the United States. So, yeah, it's about to get stormy. So, here I am back in my end of the month, beginning of the month, fun attitude. I love you guys. Congratulations for surviving this far with me. No, seriously, I'm very worried about uh, California and the West Coast and the mud regions or the bar burn scar areas, the volcano activity in Mexico and Guatemala has been very active in November. And so that adds a whole lot of wind and pressure and heat and gas variables to the whole thing and oh yeah i mentioned the earthquakes okay so i love you guys and um i will keep you guys updated and i made a badass video about red dwarf stars you guys should watch it it's the one before this one it's edited and it's awesome <sighs> okay talk to you guys soon stay cool